Yo, what's going on guys, it's Scott here, and today we're going to look at what trading for Bradley Beal would do to the Lakers. It's recently been reported that both John Wall and Bradley Beal have been made available to trade, and specifically Beal has been talked about as someone the Lakers should trade for. It's no question that Beal, if paired with LeBron, would be a great fit offensively, because he's a great shooter and someone that can score off the dribble. But with Beal and any other star player, it always comes down to the question of should the Lakers trade part of the young core for them. What we're going to look at is instead of debating that part of it, we're going to see what it would do to the Lakers if they actually did trade for him. It starts off with what the Lakers would be giving up. There was a trade scenario pitched by Bleacher Report that was honestly laughable which said the Lakers should trade Kyle Kuzma and Brandon Ingram along with KCP in exchange for Beal and Jeff Green. This is the type of trade that 5 years down the line gets you a starting lineup of 5 Robert Sacres, so I'm not even going to go into detail with that trade idea. To put together the proper package, we need to look at some of the most recent trades for star players. The Jimmy Butler trade to Philly sent Robert Covington and Dario Saric to the Timberwolves. Butler has just one year left on his deal, but the assumption is that he'll sign long term because the Sixers will be willing to offer him that max contract. The Timberwolves got two starting caliber players who are both close to their primes, and they pretty much got what they needed out of the deal, but it wasn't really a trade that got them young talent in return. Another deal was the Kawhi Leonard and Danny Green trade to the Raptors, which sent DeMar DeRozan and Jakob Pertl to the Spurs. DeRozan has one more year on his contract than Kawhi which puts the Spurs a lot more at ease, but if Kawhi stays with the Raptors then they clearly won this trade. This along with the Butler trade was a deal that got the Spurs reliable players in return, but not really any young talent unless you consider Pirtle a future star. Now obviously the protection of a Bradley Beal trade is that he has 3 years left on his contract and is still pretty young. What the Wizards shouldn't expect to get out of Beal is two future stars like Kuzma and Ingram, but just one of them. Assuming that player is Ingram, who has struggled so far this season playing next to LeBron, would overall make this a terrible move for the Lakers in their future. Bradley Beal is only 25 years old, he's not as old as Kawhi at 27 or Butler at 29, but he's much older than Ingram at 21 whose numbers look pretty much the same as Beal's did at that age. The biggest problem with this trade is how it would affect the Lakers cap. Instead of having 43 million in cap space to go after KD, Kawhi, Clay, or even Kemba this summer, they'd be pulling themselves out of all of those races because Beal's contract would bring their cap space down to 23 million. As far as managing the Lakers assets. This also isn't a good trade because the rest of the roster would only include a young core of Lonzo Ball, Kyle Kuzma, and Josh Hart. Trading for a guy like Beal simply would not be enough to take down the Warriors in 2019, and five years from now it would only set the Lakers back more years once LeBron retires. All they'd have to show for those four terrible seasons between 2013 and 2017 would be maybe a Western Conference Finals run which shouldn't be the Lakers goal. They might as well maximize their title chances by keeping their max slot open open for a higher tier star, like Kawhi Leonard or take KD away from the Warriors, while still developing a young star in Ingram to sustain those title aspirations for the next decade. This doesn't mean Beal isn't worthy of the Lakers losing that max slot, and if there was another way to get him that wouldn't involve trading Ingram, then it would be worth it, but it just doesn't make sense long term. That's all I have for this video guys, I hope you enjoyed. If you want to see more Lakers content like this, then make sure you subscribe, and leave a like if you enjoyed, and thanks for watching.